When a sentence's data travels down the stack of the layers, each layer of the OSI model encapsulates data by adding a header and sometimes a trailer to data. This packaging of data is called data encapsulation. Let's look at an example to demonstrate data encapsulation process. User's data starts at application layer on the sending side. As the data moves down to the presentation layer, it is encoded or compressed to a standard format, sometimes encrypted. After the user data is converted to a common standard format, it then moves down to session layer. At the session layer, session ID is attached to the data. At this point, data is still one whole data block. Now the data is handed down to the transport layer. Keep in mind, encapsulated data is called by different names as it travels down through the following lower layers. These names are called protocol data unit or PDU. At the transport layer, data is then broken up into different smaller blocks or pieces. Just imagine this data represents one or many blocks or pieces. Each block is added with a header which contains destination port, source port, sequence number, and other information. Altogether, a new data package is created. The new data package is called a segment if TCP is used, or we call datagram if UDP is used. A segment travels down to network layer. A new IP header is added. IP headers contains destination IP address, source IP address, and other control information. At the network layer, a new PDU, aka IP packet, is created. As the IP packet moves down to the data link layer, the process is repeated. A new header is added and a trailer is also attached. A new protocol data unit, a frame, is built. Frame header contains a destination MAC address, source MAC address, and other control information. A trailer marks the end of the frame and is also used for error checking. The frame then is sent to the physical layer where it is translated into some kind of a signal, whether it is electrical, radio wave, or light. This frame then becomes some kind of a signal that represents a series of zeros and ones. That's why at the physical layer we often call it bits. The network interface card or NIC prepares those signals and sends them out on the transmission media. De-encapsulation Well, at this point, I only tell half the story. On the destination side, the receiving node will go through a reverse process, de-encapsulation. Here is how de-encapsulation works. Physical layer gets bits and interprets as a frame, and it transfers to the data link layer, where the frame header and a trailer are checked. If the MAC address is matched and no error is found, the frame is discarded and the IP packet is pulled out and delivered up to the network layer. At the network layer, IP header is examined and checked, and if IP address is matched, the segment is pulled from the IP packet and IP packet is discarded. 
the segment transfers to transport layer. At the transport layer where the segment header is examined, the port number is looked at and the segment is moved to a appropriate application specified by the port number. At this point, the session ID is used. Any compression or decoding algorithm is applied and any encryption may be removed and the data is restored in its original form, which is then presented to the application layer. In summary, data encapsulation is about creating and wrapping users' data with control information layer by layer. And the data encapsulation is stripping off all this control information and restore the original user data. Together, they complete each other with one beautiful round of data transmission. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.